Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the new updated Kettle Pizza Pizza Oven Conversion Kit on the Cooking Everything Outdoor Show. Now, for those of you that have not seen me use the Kettle Pizza accessory, it is a stainless steel ring that fits between the base and the lid of a 22 and a half inch Weber kettle, allowing you to cook incredible pizzas by feeding it through the front of the kettle. It's brilliant. It's a fantastic device and I've used it many, many times with many, many recipes. Now I have the brand new updated version. We're gonna check this out first. So when you receive your kettle pizza, pizza oven conversion kit, this is basically what will arrive. And inside it, you're going to find a few things in there. You're going to have your 302 stainless steel uh, pizza ring that you need to assemble, which is super simple. You'll also receive your handle kit and a pizza pan. Now, your accessory kit that comes with this is pretty detailed with an instruction book with full color photos, which I just love. And it shows you step by step how to assemble the kettle pizza pizza oven conversion kit also comes with a nice little pamphlet of accessories that you can purchase to make your experience a little bit better. If you have a problem, there's an 800 number to call or a direct email. And in here, you have the few parts that you're going to require, which is two handles. Now let me talk about the handles real quick. Of course, these are stainless steel bolts and these are wood handles and they're nicely finished. They've been capped off beautifully with a hardwood and they're real comfortable for your hands. But they're unfinished. These actually feel like they might have been slightly oiled. I would highly recommend before you assemble this to either oil the handles with a nice um, cutting board oil, a mineral oil, or go and coat them with a spray varnish. That's what I did with my first one and they look brand new to this day about three years later. So they're looking really, really good. So go ahead and coat these real quick before you put them on. Also comes with the kettle pizza thermometer and an additional set of bolts, stainless steel wing nuts and bolts. And the pizza tray is a nice heavy duty uh, metal. I would have to say it is aluminum. And of course, like all the kettle pizza accessories and conversion kits and such, they're made in the USA. So what has kettle pizza done with this new version that makes it different from the original version? Well, the first most important and I think exciting thing is that this is able to fit both the 18 and a half and 22 and a half inch Weber kettles. By simply adjusting where you place the bolts on the back of this unit, you can make it for an 18 or a full 22 and a half inch kettle. So they've also relocated the location of the thermometer, which goes off a little bit to the side. The other thing you're going to really love is this is a toolless assembly and it goes really, really fast. So let's start assembling this. We'll start with our bolts. Now these bolts here point outwards and on the 22 and a half inch, which is what I have, so you simply line the holes, insert the bolt, take a lock washer, insert that on the bolt and then take your wing nut and tighten that up. Do the same thing on the bottom. Line up your hole. Put a lock washer on. And tighten up your wing nut. Now the only thing you have to do is put on your handles and that takes a handle, two wing nuts and a lock washer. And insert that into the holes. Lock washer and wing nut. And that's it. That is your kettle pizza, pizza oven conversion kit assembly in no time at all. So let's get our kettle pizza, pizza oven conversion kit ready for the grill. And it's very simple. You just take your grill cooking grate, maneuver it around the bolts in there. And you may have to take the back one and just release it lightly. And this sets in there on top of the wing nuts that are set in there. 
Now you want to make sure that your wing nuts are horizontal and not vertical when you tighten them up. And I have one here I need to adjust slightly. And you're ready to go. Now that we're ready to put it on the kettle, we'll show you how to do that. Obviously the opening goes to the front. You set it uh, inside the kettle and what's going to happen is it's going to rest on the handlebar, the bottom, on both sides and the bolt that you have on the bottom there and it is in place. Once that's assembled you just simply take your lid and set it right on top and you are ready to make some amazing pizza.